Hey everybody, this is Kyle. Here's a clip from a live stream with Matthew and Jennifer, and we were doing a Christmas holiday seasonal special live stream. Here is Leah Michelle's song, Christmas in New York. Now, because of copyright stuff, I had to, you know, not include this song in this video. So this is comments only. If you want to hear a song, just go to your search box, put in the name of the artist and the title, and you can find it. Now, in the comments here, what is some of your favorite holiday, Christmas, uh, New Year's type music. Um, I play music. I have a New Year's gig, play kind of Christmas time gigs. And it's always a thing. Hey, do you want Christmas music? Do you want holiday music? Do you not want any of that stuff? So it's always interesting what people are thinking. Jennifer, please introduce your pick for us. Sure. Well, I have not actually heard the song or seen the video, so I'm excited about it. I love Leah Michelle and I watched her in Glee, of course. And um, she's she did an amazing version of Oh Holy Night. And actually, that's one of the, like I said, one of the songs I like to do on saxophone every year. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I think last year I might have done her version. I can't remember like the karaoke to it. But anyways, um, so I have not seen this. So I'm excited. Um, Christmas in New York. I mean, I, I heard she had a Christmas album. I think it was last year it came out or something or uh, maybe 2019 actually. Um, and she was very excited about it because I followed her on Twitter and she was posting about it and stuff. So without further ado, musicians panel reacts to Leah Michelle Christmas in New York official video. Here we go. Nice. Nice. You know, I, one thing I want to say right off the bat is I love her vibrato. It's not too much. And it's like, it's like on the mellow vibrato side of like that, like the Disney sound, if you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, like compared yeah. to like, let it go. Right. Like the vibrato on that is a lot more heavy. Right. And I mean, it still sounds really good. I'm not trying to say it doesn't sound mm -hmm. good, but just her voice is just, it's just like, it's like so soft. It's like, it's like when it's cold outside, it's, her voice is like that warm bed and you just snuggle up in it. And you're just like, <laughs> oh, this is so She's good. a duvet. <laughs> and yeah. then I got, I, I got to say it. I know this is, this is a little risque, but the bow dress, I oh. wanted to unwrap her. <laughs> oh, <whoa. laughs> Dang. oh my God. <laughs> She's gorgeous. Okay, okay. come All on, come then. on. It's okay. It's okay. You're, you're allowed to look. Just don't touch, right? That's the married rule. So I'm good. I'm good. I'm still. It was only a little bit risque. She's she's gorgeous. She was really she really looked good. I liked the bow dress. It was nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, um, and you know she just like had just this energy like she was like seven years old. That magic mm -hmm. in her eyes, like she was really putting on that 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 uh you know the wild fantasy uh when she was acting for the video and her voice just was so cheerful sounding the whole way through it went it went with the video so nice and like the the way they made the track you know it was like really mellow and drawn out and then it kind of was real quick jazz like mellow like light background it's just i don't know it was just, just it was just so nice it was just very Set, it set a really, really nice feeling. You know, it sounded as she sounded as good as she looked, and she looked as good as she sounded. Well, that's, I think that's the idea. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I was, um, I, on, um, somewhere on, on my YouTube comments, someone made comment about not hearing much holiday music. And I was thinking, you know, working in public schools, not that, you know, holiday music is forbidden or something, but I just, I, you know, 26 years teaching, I just don't hear a whole lot of holiday music. So, um, and I could see like, if it's all as saccharine as this, that, you know, it would get a little bit grating and more than a month would be, you know, a little too much, <laughs> but it, this was fun to listen to. I mean, it's not something I would go out of my way to hear, but I mean, it's fun. It's upbeat. It's cheery. It's, you know, well, well done. It's within the, you know, the, uh, 
you know, the, the box of holiday music. I mean, it's just very well situated and it, it was a lot of fun. And for me personally, um, the first time I, I got to go to New York was right after Christmas and they had like a foot of snow. <laughs> so there was just snow everywhere. So, you know, she's talking about different things, New York and, you know, and imagining things. I can remember how cold it was walking through the snow. I'm, and that brought back a lot of fun memories too. So. Yeah, me too. Actually. I remembered like when she was singing about the Rockefellers and, or the, um, the rock, what is it? The, the rock and, um, you know, the kicks and stuff. Um, yeah. I, I was saying the name wrong. Um, uh, anyway, we saw, we saw that show, like, I think it was years ago with my grandfather. He treated the whole family to go see them. The Rockettes, that's what I'm thinking of. And when she was thinking about that, that just brought back that memory. And I was like, oh, that was so, so much fun. And it's the New York, I was there in the city a few years ago, actually, too, for a wedding. And it, it everything she said, it, it just reminded me of that. Yeah. And um, we're originally from Connecticut. So we used to go to New York a lot. So because um, we used to live like half an hour away. But Christmas in the city is is actually that magical, like what she was thinking about. And um, her her tone and everything is is wonderful. She's one of my favorite singers, and she's she actually inspired me to start singing. Um, you know, or, or just sing for fun anyway. But um, anyways, um, she's she's incredible, and I've loved her since since Glee, and uh, um, she's just an incredible vocalist. I, I I'm pretty sure she has perfect pitch. I I think so. <laughs> she has composer credit on the song too. Really? I didn't know if that was a cover that I just was, was, was pure or if that was her it, song, but it's her, her original. She's wow. one of four writers. Well, I um, would, I would say that she probably pulled a Beyonce on that. Yeah. Cause uh, Beyonce and, and some other, uh, to, to get more money, they, they change a note or a word and then mm -hmm. insist on composer or writer credit or whatever, just what so they is? get a cut of it. Yeah. Beyonce and a lot of other uh, high-end singers like that are, are famous for doing stuff oh, like it, that so so she took a, took a standard and just changed a couple things and then well um i i don't know about like i don't know the specifics on the song obviously but i'm saying if, if she's part of a team i would probably i would guess she probably pulled a beyonce meaning like oh i'm changing this word so now you got to give me credit and her management team huh. would it would back back up singers that do that yeah, if, if you look at like Beyonce, she does that all the time. That's why Beyonce has all these writing credits where other songwriters are like, I actually wrote like 99.5% of this song. Beyonce changed the word or changed the melody. And it's like, oh, I get credit now. You know, it, it's one of those money game things, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, it's, um, that way. that's, the, that's, that's, okay, okay. Kyle, the buzz <laughs> Killington man. Ah! <laughs> Buzz. Hey. <laughs> Good sir, I'm Buzz Killington. Would you like a spot of tea with sugar? <laughs> well, it, it, if I get too sweet, am I still Buzz Killing? <laughs> hey, we go from yeah, we go from unwrapping to Buzz Killing. I mean, hey, hey. <laughs> that's, funny. that's funny. That's funny. Yeah. Like, well, I guess if I was Beyonce and like I needed more money, I guess. <laughs> I guess I would consider, I don't I don't know that's hard for me to even complete that sentence as a songwriter but you know and who yeah. knows you know may this person really did legit you know help compose the song but you know I mean you you, you know that's not necessarily how the business of of things work you know Look, so. here's how I see it okay you can get you can get on Beyonce if you want and I'm not saying she don't have money okay just like you could get on a pro athlete right you get on them and you and say, oh yeah, you know they make too much or whatever. Okay, well, there's an argument for that, but what about the person who's signing their check? What about that person, huh? That person's affording to pay them millions a year. So how much are they making? That's more where I'm at. I'm not going to talk about Beyonce. I'm more talking about, like I say, whoever's signing her paycheck. That's really right. who's got the problem. Um, and, well, and, and it, it is kind of rude. It is kind of rude, but that is how the law works. Like in music, yeah. if you write one second, it's the same as if you write 99%, everybody shares it equally. Wow. That's just how it works. And that's how she can get away with that because that's how copyright law is written. It's, it's written in a way that, you know, somebody with a lot of power and influence in the business will be able to exploit it in that way because they have lots of power and influence in the business and you don't want to piss them off. You tell them, no, you can't do that. And then you get nothing instead of a share of the pie. So what are you going to do? You know, Beyonce yeah. is going to sell a lot of records. So you're going to take your cut. That's what I would do. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, Diva. <laughs> you can have a cut. That's fine. Make me some money, please, baby. Go for it. That's what I, if that was my song, I'd be all about it. I wouldn't care. Beyonce wants to sing my song. Hey, Beyonce, this is directly to you. You want to sing my song? I will share credit with you. 50-50. <laughs> you don't even have to change a note. Just sing my song, okay? I don't hey, know that uh, it's 50-50, dude. Yeah, that's uh that's part of the <laughs> Oh, I, I, think, I think it has to be. I think I think when right. Well, if you get a if you get a team of producers, okay. So you you sell a song. Well, and it depends. Like, are you selling outright? Or are you selling licensing? And since you know you're like me, you're not selling tons of songs. You would probably just sell the song outright. But if no. you're selling licensing, no. Well, well, hey, maybe maybe you sold hundreds of songs <laughs> in your career to other singers, I and I both. just don't know about it. <laughs> But you know, you you know, most of us, you know, don't don't uh haven't done that. But true. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, if you're selling licensing, you're you're probably working for some sort of publishing company. And there's gonna be a team of producers. You're let, let's say um your ten thousand dollars instead of getting split in half might get split a dozen ways, you know, and that's why right. you keep writing more and more and more, you know. But that's how the business kind of works, you know. You um true. but anyway, that's kind of Doing a okay. whole tangent there. <laughs> Any more comments here? For we're way off. Way, we, we're yeah, like over here. We're we're over here somewhere. Uh, lots, no, lots of fun memories. 